Today, let's experiment with a short circuit. If I connect a wire here, this is just a stray wire. Uh, if I connect it here, nothing's gonna happen at all because it's just like two parallel paths that the electricity can go. But if I connect it here, all the electricity is gonna go through the white wire and completely bypass the load. And let's see what happens when I touch it. Even when I touch it, the light bulb goes off. Why? Because the electricity is going through that wire. I'll touch it again. Electricity is going through the wire and none of it's going through the red wire anymore because electricity wants to flow through the least path of resistance. It's just like a river. It wants to go through the path of least resistance. Notice the current is starting here, but what's happening whenever I do the short circuit? The current increases almost to 0.6 amps. We said this circuit really looks like this. It's a resistor with a light bulb. But if I actually, short circuit the light bulb, then it's like the light bulb isn't even there because no current is going through it at all. So notice that in, in the beginning, it was like 10 ohms and this is like, let's say one more ohm. So like 11 ohms total, right? But then if I short circuit this, this is like not even there. Now the resistance in the circuit is lower and that's why the current goes up. I have less resistance in the circuit, yes, the light bulb is still there, but because no current's going through it, it's effectively like it's not there at all. And a short circuit can lead to very high current surges. It can lead to a current spike. And when a current spikes, it can cause a fire. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.